handsome damn aquatic thing. Fishing at a COVID testing facility. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife announced a delayed a trout season in several counties to protect against the spread of COVID-19. Back in early 2020, the spread of wildfires throughout California also prolonged the trout season. Who would have guessed in some alternate universe that you could fish at a COVID testing facility? They take all the necessary precautions. There are signs everywhere that you will not be allowed in without a mask. They ask you to keep your windows up. There is a separate line, as you can see here, at a COVID testing center directly to the lake. As of December 7th and December 22nd has been stocked with trout. The pond has also been stocked with catfish. So for those of us who are fortunate enough to live close by, we could take advantage of these resources. COVID testing stops here. There are signs everywhere letting you know what are the limits and what you can and cannot catch. There are also signs in regards to keeping safe. Here's a quick look at the facilities offered to you. The bathrooms are really clean. You can wash your hands. I took my time here just to make sure. You never can tell. I mean, it's a COVID testing facility. What do you want? On the other side of this building, there are showers as well first cast, second day. Day one fishing for trout. I thought I was cool, set up, ready to go. I was using power bait, garlic, orange, the eagle claw, uh, size 12, trout hooks, a foam bobber, some pinch sinkers. I got all this information from a YouTuber that I watch, but the problem is this YouTuber is in a location where the trout run wild in fresh spring water. Here in Los Angeles, pressured trout bass, bluegill, Everything is pressured. Everything's gone within days. So I bought this trout rod and reel combo from Walmart thinking that I was again gonna catch fish on this. It was approximately five foot, super light. I'm thinking great battle. I'm gonna catch me some fish on this. This just wasn't cutting it. As you could see here, I was just casting out to about 20 feet. So based on his knowledge of this particular body of water, you have to commit to the middle of this pond in order to get on fish. So that's what I started to do. Just focus on sending it, getting my line out there. So there's a saying, give a man a fish and you'll feed him for a day. Teach a man a fish and you'll feed him for a lifetime. Well, I'd like to say thank you Tika for taking the time to sit me down show me the different types of setups for different types of fish and the in-depth conversation that we had in regards to other bodies of waters and what they have to offer. Without this knowledge, I really don't think I would have been able to get or land my fish. I do believe that shared knowledge in situations like this is very pertinent to one success if I wouldn't have met up with Tika you know you say what's up to other people hey how are you what's going on but nobody wants to share the knowledge especially here at this location day two wait 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 <laughs> There's no apocalypse, hold on. There's no monsters, there's no zombies here. Again, 
This location, Hanson Dam Recreation, uh, they're taking care of this. Look how clean this water is. There are signs everywhere. There are people patrolling. There are LAPD here. This body water and this area are super clean. Now, adhering to the guidelines within Los Angeles County, but I mean... Anyways, you do what you want. I did what I want. And guess what? I followed Tika's rules and I got on the fish. Yeah, please. Look at this beauty. I was surprised. This is the actual audio uh, for this. And yeah. I had to keep my cool because I like to say the F word a lot. And I really held it in just for this video. Literally a half hour in, guys. That is one good looking fish. Off camera. I did what I had to do, good. we took care of the fish, <gasps> and uh, that's all I got to say about that. But these good are fish, the tips and tricks, right. the knowledge that was shared by Tika. So again, I just want to say thank you Tika, you're awesome. Handsome Dam, thanks Tika, showing me what's up on how to catch these fish, you guys seen earlier. Got that trout. A lot of people out here. Everybody's getting uh, something. Got here my brother. And uh, I'm just grateful that we got something today. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later.